Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today, we have a very special episode. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this special episode is because we have a very special bottle. Yep. This is what the... Uh, we've done a review of the Antique 107 from Weller, uh, which is part of the Buffalo Trace distillery lineup thing. Anyway, this is... The, very popular lineup. Oh, yeah. Very popular and harder and harder to get at like MSRP. This is what the old Weller antique used to look like. And I fin just finished that bottle actually. So I don't have what the current one, the current one has like the red label to it. Mm -hmm. This is a handle. This is a store pick. I, I really don't know from a local, local liquor store, Frugal McDougal. Frugal McDougal. So local liquor store, uh, I have to guess this is probably, based off of the label, at least five, if not ten years old. Yeah, because I have, Kurt, well, again, a friend of ours, Kurt, this was, this was his, his bottle. Yep. He, uh, he had, he, he, he had some good connections here uh, around, around town. Yes, he did. He, uh, he hooked me up with a 750. Um, and then I was able to, I've only seen a handle one other time at a store. Right. Like I just, it's very And it rare. wasn't a store pick. I it wasn't think. a store pick. And that's <laughs> awesome. That the, he was able to get a store pick and a, a store pick as a one seventy handle. So, um, Kurt passed away uh, a couple years ago. Yep. He was a good friend of ours and a good friend of a couple other guys in the neighborhood in our whiskey club. Yeah. And he had an unbelievable, uh, bourbon selection. Yeah. Unbelievable, uh, and always love to share. Share, take us up there. If yep. you got something new, or if there's something you hadn't tried before, he uh, either just gave you the bottle and told you to take a pour out of the bottle, or he just gave you a glass and you you, you pour what you want. Right. Um, his wife Liz came over the other night and said, "There's a little bit left. Love for you guys to finish it off." So yes. We are going to do a. a do it up. Do it up tonight. We're going to and, finish and it in his honor. In his honor and on his birthday. So yep. uh, this this one's dedicated to Kurt and to, to Liz and, and the boys. And this bottle is yes. autographed. Yeah. I'll, I'll get a nice zoom in on that. But William LaRue Weller the fifth. fifth. So a descendant of, I, I don't know, uh, <laughs> some some multiple generations later, a descendant of... W.L. Weller himself. So, for the special bottle, and the, the special reason why we're having this bottle, and the bottle kill itself, uh, let's throw a thumbs up. Yeah. Two throw, thumbs up. Yeah, swipe that thumb down, down the bottom. Let's get this nice and... There we go. Now we got to figure out where you're going to display that guy. I'll figure it out. Yep. All right, so we've already done um, Weller Antique. It's uh, Mash Bill 1. It is a weeded bourbon. Mm -hmm. We know it's 107 proof. Mm. That is sweet cherry. Vanillas and cherries. Vanillas. Apple. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna Granny Smith. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna say the other th impact here is they're I mean, when she brought the bottle over, yeah. there's maybe about yay much in. Having a bottle that's been open for that long, some of the, some of the notes are going to mute down a little mm -hmm. bit if you, you hold on to a bottle for that long and, and things like that. But the basis is still there, and you yep. can really tell this was... Man, this, this is a fresh store pick. Probably was just amazing. And it's, it's just funny to see store picks in this size. Yeah, well... Not funny. Like I, I wish I, I was able to get yeah. a number of store picks in that size. Wish I was into whiskey at the time that those store <laughs> picks were around. Which is interesting because I work not too far from here. Oh, sweet. And I'm on their email distribution list. And there's this isn't one store that advertises store picks up until recently. So in the last couple of years, it was more of we got our allocation right. in volume of some sort. Yeah, yeah. but it, they don't 
now they're getting back into the, I, I feel they're getting back into the store picks. I've seen more on social media from them mm -hmm. about some store picks that they're doing and some various things that they're doing, releases and such, but that smooth. that's really smooth and really sweet. There's, you're not getting 107. And I don't know how much the ethanol maybe like evaporated mm -hmm. out of the whiskey. So maybe it's not 107 anymore. Maybe it's 102. I don't know. But mm. uh, rumor is they age this for about seven years. They don't really talk about ages unless they put like a true age statement on their whiskeys, which I think the only one they have that's a true age statement is the 12 year, mm -hmm. right? But they have a special reserve, the antique, they have a 12 year. Full now proof. they have a foolproof. They have a CYPB, create your Drum. perfect bourbon. Yep. And a single the barrel. single barrel picks, which is what the orangey label. Which I've yet to see either the white, either or the, the white yeah. or the orange in person. I own the rest of them, and I'm actually kind of sitting on the 750s of all of them so I can get mm -hmm. the other two. The full lineup. Yeah, I have a feeling about them. Pay a little bit more than I probably want to. Get a little secondary. Yep. So speaking of secondary, this I'm going to use today's terms so so a regular size bottle should be a 750 should be 50 dollars. that's the msrp mm -hmm. on the secondary market right now you're probably looking 150 ish dollars it's just bonkers it's just bonkers so when i bought mine we we're talking before the show yeah my i was able to come across a handle a, a couple of them and i paid so they, this store I went to in Cincinnati, they had a handle of 750, or I'm sorry, a handle of 107, and then a 750 of special reserve. And they allow me to buy one of each. Nice. I walked out of there at 80 bucks, all in for one of each. So 50, 50 or 55 yeah. and 25, mm -hmm. something along those lines. And then I sent my wife in. Yeah, and my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, we did it. We did it again. <laughs> and another one. And I shared the wealth. I shared the wealth. Yeah, you yeah, got absolutely. I got. I know I got a special. Yep. Res I think I was not going to sit on. I'm not going to sit on that for myself. I wanted to make sure everyone else enjoyed it too. Yeah, so. yeah. It's just crazy. The. I don't know if if I don't know if it's a perceived lack of, product, you know, supply demand mm -hmm. type thing. I don't. I, or they're doing it on purpose. I'm not sure. Is Buffalo Trace making it so that people think that there's not enough product out there so that they're willing to spend 2X or 3X MSRP? Well, I, th I think it kind of goes back to where you're located. Like, we are where we are. It's hard. It's hard. Everybody's And, and we're two and a half hours away. And yeah. But our liquor laws here prevent us getting more. Mm -hmm. And you see all the pictures of... Oklahoma Cases City, and, Dallas, yeah. Houston, Kansas yeah. City, and there's like almost a pallet sitting on the floor, and they are hundreds and thousands of miles away. Yeah. So for us, yeah, when it hits, it's like you either got to get it or you're you got to be willing to pay secondary. Secondary. Yeah. So I think it's all based on where you're located. Yep. Any from the Weller line, they're all really good whiskeys. Mm -hmm. um, the Special Reserve. It's a little light on the proof, but the antique, um, you can go back. It, our original, when we started this channel, uh, we went through the Buffalo Trace lineup for everything that we had access yep. to at that time. Uh, out of all the Wellers, I want to say the 12 was probably our favorite, and we did the Special Reserve, the antique, mm -hmm. the 12-year, and the full proof. 12 was really good. Antique was probably the second favorite out of that one. That's the funniest part. So, should we do some water or just enjoy it as is? I'm tempted. No, no. I think we should do the water. I'm interested to see. I, I don't know. Like what? What evaporated off of it being open for so long? And mm -hmm. does a little bit of water spark new life? That whole sweetness just. It's so sweet. It just sticks cherry, like on the entire tongue. Yeah, cherry just sweetness is really strong in that. Well, 
Can't say that there's a big change in the nose. Uh -uh. You have a little more spice in that on the palate. Drinks a little hotter. Yeah, there's a little more spice. Yep. <coughs> yeah, there's a little more spice that comes through on the palate. A little bit more, maybe a, an oak note, but not. It's not overly oaky, but there's definitely a spice note that comes through. Not nothing more than that. Uh, it's still very similar to straight up. It's a good bottle. The fact that it's signed by a descendant, a descendant of Weller himself, that's really just kind of a cool thing to be able to display and, and have on, on, I don't know, just to kind of have on record. It's really kind of a, just a cool bottle. I wonder who the, the whole store pick sticker is always the same. Very, yeah, it's I all, would agree. It's that, bra, the bronze yeah. yep. with that store's logo on it. A lot of them are that way now, but I was going to say, so well, but some now, of them are doing more of like the banded or, or they're doing like whole weird stickers that well, reference yeah, the, like 80s movies or something yeah, like that. On the, on the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the original weeded bourbon. Yeah. Which that's technically up for dispute. So William LaRue Weller claims or reportedly was the, created the first weeded whiskey may or may not be true but he made weeded risk whiskey really popular back in the late 1800s still making my way through pappy land it talks about all that it's a nice whiskey it's a an amazing bottle it's, it's a great one i would never turn no no never 107 is always going to be a solid pour someone has a bottle of 107 and you're not sure what to drink that is always going to be a solid pour. I'm drinking neat. Yeah. Especially to start. Get the full flavor. Yeah, absolutely. And it's never overly harsh, even though it is 107. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's never, never drinks that hot. Nope. nope. So. Well, Kurt, happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Liz, thank you very much for sharing the bottle. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You guys are always in our hearts. Yep. So, okay. here's to you guys. Here's to the crumbles. Cheers, crumbles. Cheers, crumbles. See you on the next episode.